So on this example, one of the couple things that we noticed that uh, um, on our notes from last class period. So one thing, guys, remember when we're talking about a kite, a kite did not have any parallel sides, right? There's no par parallel sides. So right now, I can see that um, we're not showing any parallel sides, but it doesn't look like any sides could be parallel, right? So I know this. I'm going to determine this as a kite. And to verify that, I know that a kite also has two sets of congruent sides, though. They're just none, none of the sides are parallel. So now we need to go through what is some of the pieces of information that we knew about a kite. Well, we know that when we have a kite, we have two congruent opposite sides. We also knew that the diagonals, the diagonals were perpendicular to each other, right? And then also, the other piece of information that's going to be helpful for us is that there's at least one pair of opposite angles right? that are congruent. So this question is asking, find measure of angle D. All right? So we know that these two angles are congruent, right? They're equal to each other. They're opposite on the kite because these two are not equal. Right? And a kite has at least a compare of congruent sides, or congruent angles. Well, since these are not congruent, that means these have to be congruent. So what I'm going to do, instead of using measure of angle d, I'm going to call this x. And if that's x, then that has to be x. So now we know that a triangle, at all, the, a, all the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So then we go on to the next figure. All the angles in a quadrilateral add up to 3. 360. So would it make sense, guys, then I can write this equation. 36 plus 70 plus x plus x equals 360. Does that make sense? All the angles inside of this kite, which is a quadrilateral because it has four sides, adds up to 360. Does that make sense? OK. So now we add them up. So that's 106 degrees plus 2x equals 360. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a two-step equation. So we can solve the two-step equation by using our inverse operations. So that's going to be 254. Then divide by 2. And 127, 40, I like 127. And there you go. Done. Finished. P name. You guys like that problem? That's a good one.